Our next chef's passion is for local food. He has contributed to an extremely successful locally sourced catering company focused on sustainable practices. Please welcome from two caterers, Chef John Skaggs. John, it's nice to have you with us. Thanks so much. Pleasure to be here. Thank you very much. And John is a local guy doing local foods. The slow food movement here in central Ohio is alive and well due to guys like John. And John's going to do a short ribs and pasta dish that looks absolutely fabulous. Let's go, John. Take it away. Thank you very much. Well, thanks. Thanks. Uh, what, I, what I've started with uh, is one of my favorites. Anybody who's uh, seen me at the North Market participate in some competitions, I, I love my boar bacon. It's not a local product, but uh, I do source it locally at the North Market, uh, North Market Poultry and Game. Um, what I've started with was well, just... Can we get more pork fat? Can't get enough. <laughs> okay. Um, and I also am using a little bit of uh, thyme-infused olive oil, um, just to start, just, just a hint. So I think you can smell that already. I hope so. I sure can. I, I could assemble all this stuff from something that's in my refrigerator. I have some cooked pasta, some cheese, which is, uh, again, another local product here. It's a, it's a tome, which is a nice farmstead-style cheese. It's got a little blue streak in there. It's very sharp, but uh, we're going to add that to the pasta as well. So again, the bacon is just about where I want. I had a little head start here with that. That's going to permeate the whole dish. Then. Of course, we want to have a little bit of shallot, shallot and garlic. I'm going to put that in there. That garlic, I smell it, it's done. So I'm using all my senses, right? We, we see it, we smell, we taste, of course, and we feel you know, too hot, too cold. I'm going to put some red wine in there. And again, the, uh, the beef short ribs, what I have here, is all pulled off of the bone after they've cooked a couple of hours. Uh, Chef Dave used Marcel, a uh, uh, little sweet vermouth, red wine, carrot, onion, celery, fennel, a little bit of mushroom, and some, uh, some tomato product, either tomato paste or some nice fresh tomatoes. And then we're going to go ahead and put that in there as well, just like this. Make sure we use our million dollar spatula, no waste, right? Okay. Smell is fabulous, John. And again, the asparagus is blanched as well, just uh, salted water, just maybe 45 seconds. We don't want to overcook it, but I just kind of get it a little bright, and I'll put that in there as well. Uh, here I have uh, parsley and thyme we're going to put in here as well. Can't get enough thyme, right? Thyme is on our side. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, Keith Richards. <laughs> uh, salt and pepper, kosher salt and pepper. Uh, just, just a light amount. We want to... I want to know we're, we're seasoning through the layers of this dish. The, the short ribs were seasoned, the asparagus was seasoned, the pork has a decent amount of salt in there, so we don't want to oversalt, but we want to bring everything together. The, the other is cream, of course. Uh, we have great creamery around here, Snowville Creamery. I like to use that whenever possible. That's what you're having today. Have some fans. Just a little bit. Measure that exactly, right? Okay. So I'm going to turn this way up here, get a little steam going. And those short ribs, they'll break apart even more in here. And you've got the holy trinity going. You've got uh, cream, and you've got alcohol, and you've got pork fat. <laughs> <We're>, <laughs> garlic's in there, shallots. We've got a whole lot of stuff in here. This uh, cheese, of course, I just shredded kind of fine. I took the rind off for here. It would make the dish a little bit too dark. but. Um, the rind is very tasty too. It has almost a mushroomy taste to it. That's a Coca Borrega Cheese Company. We're going to go ahead and just bring that together and one egg yolk because it's not rich enough. <laughs> this is a very special occasion for me. I'm honored to be a part of this crew and look forward to being back next year. Well, that's so, started, starting to look great, John. All right. It's starting to look absolutely fabulous. Then we're going to go ahead and just Again, the uh, cooked penne pasta. Penne is a nice pasta. You can get all that sauce inside of the, oh, the yeah. tubes there. Oh, yeah. And just bring it all together. And how long is that going to go, John, all together? Well, as a matter of fact, it's going to only go just until it's just coated the pasta. And then we're going to go right into a gratin dish. Mmm, lovely. Nice little presentation With there. That. The aroma is fabulous. 
And don't forget, folks, all local ingredients. All of the ingredients for this dish are within a 25-mile radius of Columbus. So I, I do have to press up the uh, the pasta is not, but <laughs> thank okay. you very much. Thank you, sir. Okay, that's wonderful. Now we're gonna go ahead through the uh, get a little taste here. Oh, well, actually, a we're gonna put this mm. a little bit more on top. Okay, put it in our uh, miracle oven here. And look at this browning, ladies oh, and gentlemen. Yeah. Isn't that fabulous? See how that works? That's just great. Ah, oh, there we go. Another little garnish. This I'm going to sneak in here and try a little bit while we thank Chef John Skaggs from Two Caterers. Thank you. You may applaud. Thank Yum. you very much. Oh, wow. That is delicious.